So yesterday we were looking at measuring mass by looking at a balancing scale and seeing what was heavier and what was lighter. Today we are going to measure by using cubes. So we're going to see how heavy or how light something is by comparing it with cubes. Just like when we did length by measuring how many cubes long something was, today we're going to see how many cubes heavy something is. So here we have a scale and we have a pencil and we have some cubes. Can you get a piece of paper and I want you to write down how many cubes does this pencil weigh? So have a look, the scale is balanced. They're both on the same level. The, pen, the uh, side with the pencil and the side with the cubes. So they're both weigh the same. How many cubes does the pencil weigh? Okay, let's check our work. The pencil weighs three cubes because on the right side, we have a cup and it has three cubes. What would happen if we removed a cube? Can you think what would happen? Would the pencil go down or would the pencil go up? Which would be heavier? Write it down, what do you think? Okay, our next question. How many cubes does the rubber weigh? So on your paper, I want you to have a look. We can see that the scales are balanced. How many cubes weigh the same as the rubber? The answer is seven cubes. I want you to check your work. Did you get the correct answer? Now, how do you know that the rubber weighed seven cubes. What would happen if we added a cube? If we put one more cube on the right hand side, what would happen? Would the cubes go down? Would they become heavier? Or would they go up and become lighter? Okay, ooh, a yummy donut. How many cubes does the donut weigh? Have a look. How many cubes weigh the same as the donut? Write it down on your piece of paper. The answer is nine cubes. Did you get it correct? If you didn't get it correct, have a look again and see if you can understand why. How do you know that the donut weighed nine cubes? What would happen if we added another donut, so if there were two donuts, would the scales become heavier on that side or would they become lighter? Okay, our next question. How many cubes does the teddy bear weigh? Write it down. The answer is 12 cubes because the teddy bear and the cubes are on the same level, which means that they are the same weight. And on the right, we have 12 cubes. What would happen if we removed, if we took away, if we removed three cubes? Which side do you think would be heavier or do you think it would stay the same? Okay, now we've been using cubes, now we're going to be using counters. So we're using something different to measure, but the exact same method. We're still going to be looking and counting the same way. So how many counters does the sharpener weigh? On the left, we have the sharpener. On the right, we have the counters. How many counters does it weigh? Write the answer down, please. The answer is six counters. How do you know that that is the answer? How did you figure the question out? 
what would happen if we added another sharpener? If we put another sharpener on the left, so we had two sharpeners, what would happen to the scales? What do you think? Okay, our next question. How many counters does the highlighter weigh? So on the right, we have a highlighter. On the left, how many counters? Okay, let's check our work. The highlighter weighs nine counters. How did you find that answer? What would happen if we removed two counters? Do you remember what removed means? The same as take away. If we took away two counters, which side would be heavier and which side would be lighter? Okay, right, so here we have a balancing scales, we have a cherry, and we have some cubes. Can you write a sentence to describe the mass of the object? Remember, mass is the same as weight, how heavy or how light it is. Can you look at this balancing scale and write a sentence to describe what you see? So we could say the cherry weighs three cubes because we can see that each side is balanced. On the left, there is a cherry and on the right, there are three cubes. Would you like a challenge? How many cubes do you think two cherries would weigh? Write the answer down if you want to challenge yourself. Here we have some counters and we have a raspberry. Can you write a sentence to describe the weight of the raspberry? We can say that the raspberry weighs seven counters because on the left we have seven counters, on the right we have a raspberry, and we can see that the scales are balanced. They are the same. They are both at the same level. One is not bigger or smaller than the other. Would you like to challenge yourself? How many counters do you think two raspberries would weigh? Here we have an apple, and instead of cubes or counters, we have batteries. The apple's mass is measured using batteries. The pear is lighter than the apple. So we can see that the apple is the same as how many batteries? That's right, four. If the pear is lighter than the apple, how many ba batteries might the pear weigh? There's more than one answer to this question, so if you think you know more than one answer, you can write them all down. So the pear is lighter, so it's going to weigh less than the apple. The apple weighs four batteries, so the pear must weigh less than four batteries. One battery, two batteries, and three batteries are all less than four. So the answer could be one, two, or three batteries. Dom has a measuring scale here, and he says that the battery weighs less than eight cubes. Is he correct? Explain how you know. You can either write this down on your paper or you can take a small video and upload it onto your student portfolio for your teacher to see. I hope you've enjoyed learning about math.